Excellency, Honorable Mary Sarah Kedrickson. Governor of Iowa State, Your Excellency, Retired Rear Admiral Gunnarewa John Jonah, Deputy Governor of Iowa State. Members of the State Executive Council here. May I recognize the representative of the UNICEF in Nigeria and ECOWAS. Top government functionaries. Gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, we have here the representative of the UNICEF in Nigeria. Your Excellency, she is from a state and a country that shares similarity with Bielsa State. Her state is surrounded by water. She's from an island that is surrounded by water in Honduras. So there's a similarity here between Bielsa State and her state. Your Excellency, without wasting time, may I recognize members that are here with her. We have Madam Jean Patricia Goff, the UNICEF country representative in Nigeria by your left. Your right, Your Excellency. Shall we please put our hands together for her? We also have here the Chief of Field Office, UNICEF Enugu Field Office. Mr. Charles Mzuki. And also here is Mr. Felix Mwakwe, Health Specialist, UNICEF Enugu Field Office. And Dr. T.H. Siga Ekere, Director, Primary Health Care, Minister of Health. Your Excellency, UNICEF is partnering with Bielsa State in different ministries, especially health, education, water resources, may at this point especially invite the representative to state the purpose for this court services. Shall we please put our hands together for a while? And I want to tell you that I spent this morning and went all the way to the border with Delta, and so I went to two of your LGAs, and I was very pleased to see the MNCH week, that's the mother, maternal and newborn care week, in action. I went to a, a primary health care center, and it was full of people. The health workers were there, and the, they were delivering the service. So I was very excited to see the work that the commissioner and other uh, Ministry of Health staff were doing. It was really well done. And the young mothers were there, and they had these new babies, and I started to ask about the PHC, the private health care center, that is functioning. I started to ask them, is it open 724? And then they said, yes, it's open 724. And then I said, oh, on Sundays it's open. And they said, yes, it's open. We only close to go to church. So I was very impressed to see that level of action in that private health care center. So I wanted to congratulate the staff for your commitment to the uh, health well-being of the children of, uh, of this state. And I want to encourage you to do more. I was also saw today that your investments in, 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 in the hospitals. I was also informed that a very good diagnostic center is functioning in Bielsa. And we are very pleased to see that development because we believe in primary health care, we believe in secondary care. So when we look at uh, the two, secondary care and all the investments that you have done in infrastructure, I wanted to really take this opportunity to congratulate you. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to continue as this model that I saw today functioning in uh, Bielsa, mm -hmm. with the primary health care in action. I wanted to congratulate the, the, the Commissioner of Health and his team for all the commitments that they've been doing for the well-being of children here in Nigeria, here in Bielsa. And I wanted to also share with you that we believe that if you could, you how the, the, the hospitals, we could get the primary health care all, we would go around and try to map and see that all are functioning, 724, at least one primary health care per ward. And we believe that 70% of the of the health diseases happening at that level, at the primary health care. So if we get that functioning in all, and I saw the example here, 
And I'm sure that the one I saw, there are many of those. And that will ensure that we really turn around the health indicators in the years to come. So thanks for setting a good foundation for the health improvement in your state. So I really wanted to congratulate you and look forward to working with you in strengthening this area because we, we could uh, do more if we invest more. So really you have set a good foundation and together I think we could do much more for the, um, for the well-being of the children. I also was went and saw school. I was really happy to see the infrastructure of the school. I was also went to see the LG, what's the name of it? Uh, at the, Kolokuma. Kolokuma. I was not fortunate to meet the LGA chairman, so I couldn't see him. But I went and met the WASH unit, and I met your staff from the Commissioner of Water Resources. And also I found a very dedicated team that took us to see the infrastructure there to be. And I wanted to share with you that we have been working, the government of Nigeria, with the EU, as selected by ELSA for the Rural Water Scheme. And this project started in 2013, and it's ongoing. And we, we see the great uh, potential in this pro project to improve, because I always say water and sanitation is the first barrier for health. If we do work in ensuring that the, we have access to water and access to sanitation, then we will not ever finish the health problems, because that's the first barrier. So I'm very pleased that this program is implemented in your state. And um, the, this program has a component that the funds from the EU, 70% for the water, and we need a counterpart of 30%. And I wanted to, uh, the prayers today that we get the counterpart funding to make sure that the program continues with the speed that has been going. It just started uh, last year. And so we need to just make sure that this program has the, the speed we need to meet the targets that we have set with the EU and with your, state, with your government, state government. So I know we will be counting your support because water is the first barrier. And I know I'm an engineer myself, so I enjoy when I go and see the projects happening. And the point is that they'll put in the school, well done. And you have a great team out there working to make sure that the, the people of Ayelsa are recompensed by all these uh, sacrifices that you all are doing here. So we were really pleased to see that. I'm also with the Department of Women's Affairs. We are also working on a, a Children's Act. And we understand there's an assembly. And I would love if you could do that as soon as possible. Because when we have the proper legal framework, then children are protected. So I wanted to congratulate you for taking that bold step to ensure the protection of children in your state are taken serious and that you really care for the most vulnerable population. So I wanted to thank you, and I think uh, before we finish this year, we will have another state in Nigeria with the Child Act up in April. So I wanted to also pray that we will get this done this year because that will ensure that we move collectively protecting children. You know, as UNICEF, we look at survival, we look at development, and that's education, and we look at protection. And when states move in their development indicators, the protection issues come up more visibly. And we need to work collectively to ensure that children are, are not only and live and survive and develop, but also protect them from harm, from exploitation. So the Ministry of uh, Women's Affairs, I know they have a lot on their plate because all of these vulnerable populations are under their, their care. So any support you could do to the Ministry of Women's Affairs will be greatly appreciated. And I know collectively we could do more to protect children. So the Ministry of Education is the, for me, education is one of the cornerstones for development, and I think you've taken that also as one of the priorities of your state to make sure that, you, that the population here goes to school, not only go, but the state and learn. I'm also, with my visit, was able to understand the difficulties you have to access, because the terrain is not as easy as other states. So you need to work double 
to, to see efforts that other states are doing in Nigeria. So I really wanted to applaud you because the efforts that you help to do here are really more than efforts in other states. So count on our support to do, redouble our efforts for us to look at the improvement and indicators in your next tenure, in your next year, and I know collectively we will do better and we will improve. So more investments in children, and that's my plea again, that the more we invest in children, I think the future of your state will be more effective. So I, um, if I didn't leave nothing more from my, my list of things, but I wanted to really appreciate the, your, your efforts, your time today, and I know this is not my first visit, because I was also impressed, I was telling them you have a beautiful state capital. When I walked in, I couldn't believe this was the state capital. It's very well organized, so I wanted to also appreciate the investments we're doing to make sure that the population that live in the state capital are also protected, and we wanted to make sure that we get the same level the, to these other rural communities. So thank you so much for your time, and I look forward for a good discussion and available for any questions that you would like to ask. Thank you so much. You don't have the numbers of children that's born. We are not sure how many will come into your health facilities, and we are not sure how many children will come to school. So we are working across the states to make sure that this first right of the child is really taken um, with all the, uh, the, the interest that it takes. And one of the things that I learned in Nigeria, in my country I have to have my birth registration. In Nigeria it's not as important as the LGA chairman letter. And we want to turn that around because we believe that the birth registration is more significant because it's done when the child is born and there's no uh, opportunities for error. And I think that's something that the, the commission, the, Na the National uh, Population Commission is working on together with us. And today we have the commissioner for my sustained visit with us. And he pleads to me, Jane, we have to make sure that birth registration is, uh, is on the agenda. And that's very important. And I always say, this, the first right of the child is to a nationality. And that's reflected in your birth certificate. So uh, I know he has been working with you, and we want to continue to improve on birth registration because it's part of the vital statistics. We don't need to wait till we do the, the population census to know what's the population base. If we do proper birth registration, and we can get birth certificates. So I just wanted to, I know the commissioner is also part of my team today, but he, uh, he he was here, and I think birth registration for me is very close. And we've been in Nigeria, I think we have registered about 7 million children. And he could give you the correct data for Bayelsa, but it's online. We could see how many registrants we've been doing. And I think we are working with the local government to see how we can reverse the law to make sure that the birth certificate becomes a legal instrument. So, and I know you could help me up with the neck to bring that on the agenda to make sure that we have the birth registration as a legal instrument and that will ensure that we have that as our basis. So I wanted to thank the Population Commission for all the efforts that they have been doing the last year and uh, we look forward for that. So sorry that I took the microphone again. <laughs> Members of the State Executive Council and in particular the Honorable Commissioner for Health the Honorable Commissioner for Water Resources, and then just the Honorable Commissioner for Women uh, Affairs and Development just came in. Uh, let me acknowledge the presence of a very, very important lady, an important personality, uh, very simple looking, but I haven't listened to her, I can see that they are very profound. Uh, the UNICEF country representative uh, for Nigeria and ECOWAS and members of our team, uh, Agreed by Elsa, uh, who is the National Population Commissioner representing our state, Dr. Austin Papo, all members of uh, the team, uh, the 
Chief of Staff, Deputy Chief of Staff, Principal Executive Secretary, Special Advisors, Senior Special Assistants, members of the press, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen. First, it's a great honor, Madam, to welcome you to Bayelsa and so we are very pleased to have this interaction with you, Government members. Uh, as I said informally, we say that until someone has visited Bayelsa, which is the center of gravity of the Niger Delta, uh, that person has not quite visited Nigeria. So I take it that this is the first time we are now visiting Nigeria. Yes, <laughs> because this state is not just geographically speaking at the center of the Niger Delta states, but in reality, this state is the epicenter around which the Niger Delta and the issues of the Niger Delta challenges of development and the prospects and potentials revolve. This is actually the habit of the uh, What you see in Bayelsa, you can take it uh, as a truth about the Niger Delta situation. And so I want to come you to Bayelsa. Here we call ourselves the glory of all lands. Not only because this was where oil and gas was first discovered, but also that this is uh, the home of all good people. To us, all good human beings are first of all from my answer. And uh, because you and members of the entourage are good and wonderful people, and you are all my answers today and going forward. So you are welcome home. You are welcome home. Uh, I'd like to thank you uh, for the wonderful job that UNICEF and your partners, other donor agencies are doing. I'd like to appreciate the leadership that you are giving to UNICEF in Nigeria and in ECOWAS. Uh, when I was told just a few minutes back that uh, UNICEF country right now was here, uh, it's a program that I was scheduled to attend outside here. I was almost just stepping out. I said, no, I, I, I would like to interact with you. As a matter of fact, I would have even liked to have audience with you in the Abuja office before now. So um, you can imagine how happy we are that uh, what we would have gone to look for in Sokoto, say Nigerian say, uh, we have found it in Sokoto. Uh, that is what we would have gone far to look for, and rather come home to look for us. I like to be very happy with this interaction because of the relevance of your work, the work of UNICEF, working with governments and agencies, building partnerships, fostering collaborations to see that uh, we improve on child care uh, you know, facilities, improve on education facilities, and also we talk about issues about protection of, of, of children. These are all things very dear uh, to every government. Uh, I'm also asked, we have just heard now upon assumption of duties we declare an emergency in education. And for us, as you rightly you yourself observe, short of the go, education is and ought to be the cornerstone upon which any meaningful development can pick up. And uh, we are building schools, 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 and yet more schools. I'm happy you said we stopped over at Kolokomon Pokuma at Kayama. We need to look at the secondary school, uh, one of the schools that. Oh, primary schools? Okay. There's also a secondary school there. The first time we're now making it to the park. Building over 30 boarding uh, schools, boarding facilities that are going to kick off by September. And primary schools, new primary schools were built, over 400, going to 500, uh, in spite of the harsh economic challenges that we now experience. Now, education is key, uh, because without it, we won't have sustainable development, we won't have stable societies. So I'd like to thank you and to say that we are open for collaboration, we are open for all partnerships, UNICEF can uh, 
help us to build and foster. Not just with you, but also if you know of other agencies, donor agencies that can help work with us in those critical areas. So, because we are building schools, school for music, school for primary schools, school for uh, school for tourism, school for, I mean all kinds of schools we are building. And we are even building a teacher's academy, teacher's training academy, because the training of teachers is critical. Because every other investment, other than investment in the teacher, is investment in uh, breed and mother, uh, which on their own cannot translate to any meaningful output. The teacher remains the most important. Uh, the teacher, therefore, must have the right knowledge and skills to advantage. So that school too will kick off. By September. Yeah, in fact, later this month, um, I will be extending an invitation to you to join us as we go around to commission most of these facilities. The diagnostic center is just around the corner. If you're not too busy, you can just stop by. It's world class. And we are building several hospital facilities, several referral hospitals. And we are doing a great job in terms of the medical, prime medical facilities that we are building just there around the corner. Commissioner for them and take you around to take a look at some of these. Uh, these are areas that we intend to collaborate uh, with you uh, in terms of support, uh, materially, in terms of support, in terms of resources, human resources, and so on until we can, we can get. Um, I'd like to also talk about water. I appreciate uh, UNICEF for the collaboration that is currently existing. Commissioner for Water Resources know how seriously we take this issue of water. Just yesterday I had a, almost an hour long a meeting we did where I gave directives. And by tomorrow or so we'll have a meeting. Uh, we'll talk of community water development projects. And I believe that every community in this state uh, has a right to safe drinking water. Uh, we've addressed issues of education, investment in health, education, and security for the past two years, three years I've been here. Now, we want to address issues of water. We've done for a number of communities, over 50 communities, uh, that are landlocked, that didn't have water at all. We've never seen drinking water at all, water. Landlocked, they've, not, they've just been drinking from uh, wells and so on. And this is a state that has water, water everywhere. Uh, because a part of our state is, uh, has salt water, we also have challenges because they can drink from the river water because uh, the water is saline. So uh, we have made some investment in the area of desalination machines, desalination technology we commissioned, and we are trying it to see how we can turn the salt water, even the salt water, uh, by the sea, those communities that are along the sea. Sure. See so how we can get clean, portable drinking water. Again, we are prepared to see how we can collaborate, exchange ideas, and uh, see what the latest technology can offer. Uh, you talked about uh, child protection, the aware of the Child Rights Act. Uh, let me use this opportunity also to restate our commitment to the passage and the eventual implementation of the Child Rights Act. Um, when my attention was drawn to it, um, I promptly sent a bill to the House of Assembly. And we just got a new assembly in place after the last general elections. And have received assurances from the Speaker uh, that they will give accelerated hearing. And in no distant time, in the next one or two months, um, you, you will be reading in the papers that uh, we will have signed that bill into law. Because uh, we, we are serious about the protection of children. Uh, as a matter of fact, we even have a committee uh, working, working on cases of uh, violence against children, and violence against women uh, in this state. I receive regular reports to see how the actions that we need to take. So I want to thank you. You also talked about the need for death registration. Uh, I think that is something that we would like to do. Uh, it's one of the areas that uh, our broad reform will cover. It's a reform that, by the grace of God, will tend to unfold in the first quarter of next year. 
both to have a reliable data bank for our citizens uh, that, that will be useful for planning purposes. All in all, Madam, I'd like to thank you for the wonderful job you are doing, Minister, and I'd like to appreciate the collaboration. We want to deepen that collaboration and partnership in, in several ways, in fact, in all ways possible. So thank you most especially for finding time to visit us. Members of your team, uh, I invite you to take a look at Inagua, go around by Elsa, and uh, see what uh, the little job we are doing. And uh, maybe we will have occasion to ask you to come again to join us to commission a number of these uh, live question projects that we have initiated. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much.